Hi, Peter Charles here for Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a fly called the Butcher. Now, if you've seen the thumbnail, I can hear all those English guys yelling from across the pond going, that's not the Butcher. It's actually an American fly that uses the same name, but it is not the type of uh, fly you'd expect it in the UK if you saw the name Butcher. It's associated with Ray Bergman, uh, and it has an interesting history of, of its own. It's an attractive pattern, and I, I think it could do quite well. So uh, let's get into the uh, materials and how we're going to tie it. Again, we're going to use a, a wet fly hook. Uh, this is uh, a Camasan version. You can get the uh, Mustad 3906B as well. Our thread is a white 8 aught. We're going to use white thread to avoid the color bleed through problem. With the, if we put black thread under red, it wouldn't look very nice when it gets wet. Our tail is black schlappen. Our body is red floss. This is a four strand variety. We're going to use just one strand. And our rib is this one aught uh, yellow neon uh, thread. This is an interesting product. It's, it's got a, a, a texture to it, like a cord. Um, I tried the recommendation that was in the book for like a yellow uh, tying thread. I didn't like the result. So I, I trashed that movie and I thought, you know what, I'm going to substitute this. Uh, I did discuss that uh, in a previous video saying that, you know, I'm going to do some substitutions with these uh, flies. So uh, we're going to use this neon yellow and see how we do with it. Our uh, hackle is going to be um, a dry fly hackle, actually. It's badger. And uh, you can see I'm using a dry fly cape. And, but I'm not going to be heavily dressing it because we don't want this thing to float. The whole idea is those stiff barbs will vibrate in the water. So let's get started with the tying. So we're going to start our thread at the beginning, just get it started. I'm going to use the speed tying technique here. We're going to tie in our uh, schlappen next. You want the tail roughly the length of the hook shank. A couple of turns to pull it, hold it in place. Now we're going to put in our rib. And now our floss. I'm just going to hold everything up and just skid my thread back. Work it back to the bend of the hook. Now come forward and be neat with this as you come forward. We want a smooth floss body. Okay, take this opportunity to clean up this uh, waste. Now we're just going to put a, a nice easy wrap at the back. Help hold that tail into place. Now watch your hook point. Now for our rib. Now we're going to start to color our thread because when we tie on our uh, hackle, we want it to be black underneath and not white. Make sure you're stroking those fibers back. Now for a little head cement. Okay, there we have the uh, Butcher. Uh, it's popularized by Ray Bergman. As I say, it's different from the UK pattern. Uh, and I think you'll find that that uh, use of a dry fly hackle uh, as a, a collar in this fly will cause that uh, those barbs to really vibrate in the water and they're quite attractive. If you're familiar with the yellow, uh, or sorry, the orange fish hawk, you know what I'm talking about. This is a great uh, caddis pupa imitation. So there you have it, the butcher. Give it a try. It's a colorful pattern and I think it'll work just great. Cheers.